We tend to think of worms as harmless and boring. But these ribbon worms, also known as proboscis worms, also known as gross, are not boring. For example, what is that horrible white slime they shoot out of their heads? Is it dangerous? Where do these alien looking things live and do you need to fear them? What exactly are ribbon worms? There are over 1,000 different species of ribbon worms, and most of them live in shallow waters in the ocean. Some of them grow up to 30 meters long and two and a half centimeters in diameter. Other ribbon worms are tiny, less than a centimeter long. They vary a lot in size and behavior, but all share one common trait. All ribbon worms' bodies include a muscle called a proboscis. They can push their proboscis outside their bodies to use it to hunt their prey. Think of a proboscis like the finger of a glove that's turned inside out, and you'll have an idea of how the worm contracts its body to push its proboscis out. Some kinds of proboscises are sticky. These ribbon worms catch their prey by shooting a white sticky goo at snails, mollusks, and other worms. Other ribbon worms have proboscises with suckers on them, and they use their suckers to grasp their prey. And others can stab their prey with the sharp spikes attached to their proboscis called stylets. If a worm loses its stylets, it simply grows new ones, keeps them in pouches inside its body, and puts them back onto its proboscis as needed. Once the worm has captured its prey, it drags the horrified creature towards its mouth and swallows it whole. Some species of ribbon worms can expand to twice their width to swallow bigger prey. And the proboscis is not just a hunting tool, it's also used for defense. Attacking creatures don't like it when a ribbon worm throws its stylets at them. Many ribbon worms are also poisonous and taste terrible. Some species make tetrodotoxin, which can paralyze a creature and kill it by asphyxiation. This venom also causes paralysis, so the worms can stun their prey. If a predator takes a bite out of one of these bad-tasting worms, the ribbon worm just grows a new part. This is called regeneration. It gets stranger. Some species of ribbon worm can even regrow into a lot of new worms. If a predator takes a bite out of a Ramphagordius sanguineus, that one ribbon worm can regrow into 200,000 ribbon worms. The good news is that ribbon worms are not dangerous to humans, as far as we know. Shooting a slimy muscle out of its body and regenerating parts? That's what ribbon worms do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures. <laughs>